Welcome back to my New York City vlog. Let's do a quick recap. My last day in Manhattan, it was pouring out and I walked from Grand Central Station over 40 blocks to the Chelsea Market. I ate vegetable dumplings, explored the Highline Park before taking refuge in the Hudson Yards to dry my clothes. And my day ended with losing my 10 ticket train pass, but somehow we made it home safely. I had the most amazing conversation with a woman from Virginia, originally from Virginia. It sounds like she's been in New York for years. It was just really soulful and she thought I was on spring break, which I laugh because I often get that I'm still a university student, even though I've been out of university for six years now. Definitely beyond that stage of life, but I'll take the young age. Now we're just walking up to the Rockefeller Center. And I'm gonna pick up some lunch on the way. Before, definitely way busier outside than yesterday because yesterday it was obviously raining. sweet greens food review it's good like this the dressing is really tasty I can see why it's such a hype I think this was supposed to have kale in it but they didn't have any so it was just spinach and yeah it's good I don't know if it was worth with the kombucha which obviously is a treat to get I got the health aid pomegranate just to help hydrate and Feeling funky today and just low energy, so I'm just taking it easy, but made sure to get real food, not another hamburger, so that I can get through the rest of the day all the way till tonight's show. I'm back in the neighborhood I was yesterday, but you can actually see it. It's so beautiful. percent energy today a little lacking on the vloggy vlog had a nice time in italy and i'm just walking all the way up center street to go meet a friend for a quick bite to eat and then we're seeing a tap dance show and i'm gonna head home because i just I'm tired <laughs> i know how else to say it i'm tired and for any friends who get it it's almost that time and that's why i'm feeling so lethargic and just got no energy. I just got back to the neighborhood I'm staying in. I'm really exhausted today. I thought a car was flashing the lights at me. I knew that today I wouldn't have my full energy and 
just before I went to a show this evening, I really felt like crappy and just not like myself. And then I went to a tap dance show by Subject Matter, which is a Brooklyn-based tap dance company that was visiting New York. And this really awesome, a women-led six-year-old space that has artists in residence space and supports putting on shows and put on 300 performances during the pandemic, like 2020, 2021, which is nuts that they were able to do that. So admirable. I forgot what like tap dance is like. Fuck, it's like amazing. You just, there's vibration. You have something visually to look at. And then I went for dinner with a friend after. It was really nice to catch up with an old friend who I hadn't seen for eight years, but the power of social media keeps you connected with people. And it was just so crazy to reunite with them in New York. So that was fantastic. But I'm a pretty lame Friday night date. I don't drink really unless I'm like really feeling I'm in a safe space and I wanted to catch the 9 p.m. train home because I'm tired so bedtime it is and I'm gonna try and kick it and get back downtown tomorrow for my last day in town and then we have a travel day on Sunday damn all this honking and stuff <laughs> makes me scared but well, I know it's not me but it's dark folks Thanks for listening to my TED talk. Bye. To be honest, I don't really know where I am. Coffee in hand. Currently walking across the Brooklyn Bridge. So I have something auditor auditory. Is that the right word? Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna focus. Anyway, 